What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, the wife of former WNBA star turned Russian prisoner Brittany Griner uh, recently uh, stated that she talked to Brittany, I guess over the phone, and found her to be in a terrible state mentally. Uh, you know, very depressed despondent and feeling as if though nobody cares about her. And I guess the reality of the situation is starting to set in that she may have to do this entire nine year bid. Um, White Zaddy is not coming to her rescue. The Biden administration, the U.S. government has put her on the back burner. As a matter of fact, the United States government uh, has, I believe, orchestrated a prison a prisoner swap with uh, another country, but the participants were of another color. Uh, so, I'm just saying, not saying it's related, but, you know, once again, you, you see something like that. But anyway, she may have to do the entire bid, man, because, look, if that shit gonna happen when Biden is president, her being, like, brought here and maybe reduce sentence or something it ain't gonna happen if Republicans get into the White House I don't see it especially if Trump is somehow reelected. but anyway be that as it may you know she feels despondent well I'm like this Brittany before this whole situation I don't rem remember her identifying as being black. I remember her identifying with the alphabet community. So I have to ask this question, where are the alphabet people demanding that she be released? Where are they? Where are the brigade? Where was the band at? Where is the parade demanding that she be released? But the the first thing that motherfuckers did in the American media was blame us, black men. Why aren't we stepping up? Like what the fuck, man? What is that shit? God damn, are we like? The perpetual pinata of all societal ills. When something go wrong, they just look at our black asses. I didn't put the, any drugs in her fucking book bag. She did. I'm not the one that made her go over there and violate drug laws. A, a country that she's been in before, she should know the fucking drug laws. She's a grown goddamn woman. And now she's paying the fucking consequences. Period. I know. I mean, look. At some point, man, that shit is ridiculous. Now she didn't identify as a black woman before. I bet she feel like one now. Now you see. All that time you identified with one community, and when push come to shove, they left your ass high and dry, and now you look to us. Well, guess what? We got our own problems. Now I feel for the woman, but um. You broke the law. Shit, well, with us, look, Amaya Doka, he broke policy, right? Oh, 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 no, 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 too raw. Look, look, I know I agree with some of that stuff you say, too raw, yeah, but he broke Boston Celtic policy. Well, she broke the Russian law. She broke Russian law, so she got to pay a fucking penalty. She got to pay the price, nine and a half, whatever the fuck it is, years in prison. Now, you know, it is what it is. Um, she got to serve some time. <clears throat> she got to serve some time, man. And the person you got to look at is not us. You got to look at the motherfuckers who actually have some power in this situation. And that's Joe Biden. But he got other shit to do. Like, 
forget his next sentence midway through. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, shit. We got enough problems as it is, man. It's a community. We got enough problems to be worrying about somebody that's 13,000 miles away or some shit, man. I'm just, nope, not going to do it. No, sir.